morning guys welcome to today's video i just let all the dogs out listen i have something for you to put together these are fancy flags <laughs> that are going to scare off all the all the birds that come on our property what's this for dad also bought some rubber chickens he got them for the horses i don't understand who can guess what this is let me see it's um Pokey thing. There. $5 to whoever can guess what it is. It's a milk strainer thing. That's what I was gonna guess. I know, because he bought me milk strainers before. Five bucks for anybody who can guess before I show you. Poop. It's not to pick up dog poop. It's got these metal, it's metal. Oh no. Hard. So give you, me a hint. No, give right. me a hint. It's a net. For the pool? Not for the pool. Catch butterflies. Nope, it's got metal on it. Mm. All right, I'm going to tell you. Is this from your garden? Very close. Uh, good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Sorry about the air conditioning sound. Sam, I got a bunch of stuff from Temu today, and uh, this is something crazy. I'm going to show you guys right now. You know what's annoying? Yeah, like... Do you know what's annoying though? I bring my dog everywhere. I like trained my dog to go outside with me and it was hell, I'm not gonna lie. But she goes everywhere with me now and it's because I took her everywhere with me. I keep telling them, Sam and Sophie, every time they walk out of the house, take your puppy, take your puppy, take your puppy. And they always complain, well, I have to do this and the puppy can't do that. You have to train her to go everywhere with you. Tell me I'm right, you guys. Like, she's never gonna learn to do the things that they want her to do unless they take her they just have to take her and deal with all the problems like oh, do you guys remember all the trouble i had with ellie she would chase the goats she would chase the horses do you remember how many times she chased them i wish i had the footage just sitting here i would show you guys like she was wild ellie is not super trained by any means but she knows how to handle herself everywhere we go like i had to train her before to run when honey gets her eyes locked on her like she knows what to do she knows where we go she like it's so much easier now but it took taking her but it took taking her every single where and not on a leash well i don't want to chase her but you got to chase her i'm not chasing her you uh, sophie you have to put in the time now to get her good later what are we doing i'm just i'm gonna show you all right so i'm gonna show you guys what you do with this first of all you have to put a handle on it get off the road get over here come on we're not going for a walk come on good girl stay oh, that, you... was my, that was my guess that i said first all right so that was not your first guess so anyways i don't know if you guys can see but up there we got some really nice pears no they're not quite done yet but they're way up high and so he got this thing and you put a big handle on it and it picks pears and apples off the tree is that cool yeah, let me try. <laughs> i know he <laughs> even he couldn't remember what it was for don't pick too many though well, I, want to I like to keep all the like lower pears for the deer but there aren't any because we trimmed this tree last year No, it works so good. Ellie, stay. Ellie. Oh my God. Ellie. <laughs> Ellie. Thank you. Oh, look, there's a bunch of pears. I know. So here's one. Try this one. They're not quite done yet. We don't have a lot of pears this year. We had a ton last year, but they weren't very healthy or very big. Hmm. Works. Got good job, it. Sam. Sam always orders so much fun stuff. We're coming to you. Never makeup, Never make up, Sophie says. <laughs> wow. Look at how gorgeous. Uh oh. Penny's brave. I just finished editing Sophie's riding video. 
and honestly, it was the saddest thing I ever saw. Good girl, Pen. What a good girl. Again, then of me reaching up to pet her. Uh oh, lady doesn't like it. <laughs> oh, she does. <laughs> Storm smells the pears. Here, hold on. All right. Oh. <laughs> it's a pear. It's really yummy. He's super picky. It's a little bit early. Wants it if it chases her or runs away from her. Stay here with your friend. I don't think these work. Should They're for. No, let's give them. Oh, look at. He's snorting at it. Penny won't come between these two. Here, Sophie, give this to Penny. Lady just ate a whole one. Who bit this? Storm. <laughs> Alright. Let me see my horse. She doesn't like it. Just keep trying. She'll take it. No, she won't. She will. She's, she didn't take it. Alright. Give it to Honey and Gracie. Give Gracie some. We've had a bunch of kids come over, like our friends come over this summer and all of them have been riding on Gracie. What about Honey? Well, honey Where's Willow? Oh. <laughs> Standing on the rubber chicken. Aw. The bugs are bad today. It's about to pour. Everybody, I just love looking at them, like all their colors. So when I was editing the Sophie's video, it was such a great video, but the problem was that um, I was so sad for Honey, you guys. Like, she really doesn't understand that Sophie has other commitments besides her. She wants to be with Sophie all the time. Sophie works with that, her horse every day. Literally every day she works with her. So when Sophie picks somebody else, she gets so upset. You should see what she's like when, when Sophie's with Willow. Oh my gosh. Come on, puppy. Uh-oh, you can't go in there. What was I thinking? Hi, Can you grab that pool for me? Like, she needs to get used to life on the farm so she can live on the farm. Good girl! And having another dog to show her the ropes is perfect. We're about to have a big, huge tropical storm that's going to cause a lot of problems. The, the one that they had down there in Florida. Get out! <laughs> so this pool over here that I have for the boy pig is biting the biscuit. It bit the biscuit. He ripped too many holes in it. So it's going in the garbage. And now he's just getting a baby pool. Can you go turn the water on for me? This is his little mud pit, which he doesn't get muddy. I almost want to believe that pigs don't really like to be muddy. That they're forced to be muddy. If they had like another thing to make them cool down and keep the bugs off like water, they would use that. Because our pigs could get muddy, but they never do. What a good girl! <laughs> He's like, oh, you're bringing me water? He, she just has to like figure it out. She just has to figure out that the animals are okay and which ones to stay away from. You're getting a new pool, piggy. Look, I got you a new pool. Brand new. Just for you. Come here. And it's for you too. Good girl, good girl. I'll save you. This pig wants the puppy. Yeah, grab her so that she feels safe. Oh, hello. I'm gonna bring your pool down here too. I think Posey might be in heat. She doesn't come near the fence line unless she's in heat. But I'm also gonna bring Posey's pool down here too. It's just easier. Then I can fill it every day and make sure it's good. 
Anyway, I don't know what to do about po about um, honey. She can't be with Sophie all the time. Like, it just can't happen. If it was up to her, she'd live in the house. Yeah, if it was up to her, she would live in the house. She's so sociable and she loves people. Not necessarily loves people, but likes to terrorize people. No, <laughs> just joking. Can I have a little drink? She is a water dog. Yeah, she's a water dog. And she's a water dog. Two water dogs. Call her when she gets scared because she is... If she learns to come back to you, good girl, it's okay. She's not going to come to me with Winston. Look at my baby boy. Listen, he's not ready. she's not ready for you yet. Look at him. Why are you so interested lately? Hey, is it because there's a girl walking around? Hey, yes, my big boy. I know, I love you too. I love you too. She's doing good though. She's getting it. She's figuring it out. Don't, don't turn it off yet till it's full. So my friend was here the day that we got Kirby. Like she was here, and a sh and a Kirby was like in shell shocked. Kirby was shell shocked. She was like, what the heck? <laughs> Where are my brothers and sisters? Like, she was shook, and obviously not, obviously not super socialized, but also like terrified. And then she saw, and then my friend Shaw saw her again the other day, and she was like, "Holy man, this puppy! Like, it's a totally different puppy." And the same thing is going to happen with the animals. Kirby's going to get used to being on the farm, being around the animals. She's going to learn who to stay away from and who she can play with, just like Ellie. Ellie loves. Posey. Posey and the chickens all get along and the puppy's just gonna have to find her, her place too. She's just gonna need love and support while she gets there. So uh, the reason that it made me sad about Honey, so if you didn't see the video, the riding video, Honey was so upset that she couldn't get to Sophie when Sophie was in the field where Honey knows that she can go to her. And for a whole hour, that pony chased Sophie down. All right. Come on, Ellie. Come on. And it didn't bother me that like she wanted to be with Sophie and she couldn't because that's just something that happens sometimes. But what bothered me is that I could see she was truly anxious. Like she was truly really upset. But what really, really bothered me was that it lasted a long time. And then like the whole lesson, like probably an hour and a half she did that. And then at the end, she was like following Sophie around put her body between the other horses and the fence to get as close to Sophie as she could. Like she, Ellie's the same kind of thing. Like it's like, Honey is like the terrier of the horse world. She's an Appaloosa, a pure Appaloosa. And man, they're a whole nother breed. Oh, it's a cool pool. Oh! <laughs> Wow, slid. <laughs> Don't wear Crocs in mud, people. That <laughs> would have been like a bad fall. I would have like been a mud pit. I can't even get anywhere. I'm like surrounded. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> I figure if I put a pool down here, that Ellie will stay down here more. It's your pool. I mean, Posey, not Ellie. Yeah, she's like, I really want it. Okay, pass me that hose, please. So my honest review about these pools is that they're really cool until, okay, go turn it on. Until the animal uses it too much and breaks down the walls. But I'd get another. No, it's Posey, see? It's coming. It's common, posy pig. If this was drinking water, I'd clean the whole pool out. But because it's like supposed to be a mud puddle for the goat, for the horse pigs, I'm just going to fill it up. So it is August, and that means that Posey is seven months, I think, or eight months? Seven months or eight months? I think seven. I think seven months. and um, Or seven and a half months, probably. And by the rules of the road, she is allowed to be with a boy pig now and she could get pregnant now and it and be safe but I, it just seems too early for me even though I can tell now this month for the first time I can tell that she's like fully in heat and she's like looking more womanly 
if that makes sense. I don't know. It doesn't seem like I want them to be together because I want them to have companionship with a breed that understands them and gets them. Like, I don't believe that animals can't be friends with other breeds and that like Posey and, and Ellie, best friends. But because Posey's gonna live on the farm, I want her to have an animal that she feels like so close with other than the chickens. She's close with the chickens. But I want her to have like a piggy partner. But I'm not really sure about the whole baby thing. I'm not against her having babies one day. I don't really feel like I'm set up for baby piggies right now and we're getting ready to go into fall and like it's gonna be a lot of work and we're like winding down our season on the farm. So I don't know how that's gonna work, but I don't see me putting her together with him anytime soon. They've never got together, never got together. I can't believe it. Like goats are just horrible. They just always get together. Um, although our goats have been really good lately, keeping them apart. We've been keeping them apart, but I'm just not ready for baby pigs yet. And I don't know if I'll ever want baby pigs. So until I can find a vet, it's hard to find a vet that will neuter a pig. So until I can figure out if I can get him neutered, uh, for now, I'm just going to leave them apart. The overall plan is for them to be together in the winter so that they can keep each other warm. But we'll see. We'll see what's going to happen. Hi, ladies. My cute girls. Hi. <laughs> you are a brat. We have animals on the farm that are amazing. And then we have animals on the farm that are brats. So a little cricket over there, amazing. Lola over there, amazing. The other two over there, brats. I feel like with goats, you need a, uh, you need them to be friendly, but standoffish at the same time. If they're too standoffish, they're not friendly. If they're too friendly, they're annoying. But do you guys see what I mean? I don't even have to watch Ellie hardly. She's just like with me. There's a stick in your butt. She's just always with me wherever I am. I just look down and there's Ellie. And it's because I took her with me when she was growing. I took her with me all the time. I kept making sure she would follow me. I kept saying, come on, Ellie, come on, Ellie, come on, Ellie, a million times until she learned, come on, Ellie is not negotiable, right? And that's what that puppy needs. That puppy needs that because it's a very loyal breed, just like terriers. And it would really learn to be an amazing companion for them, for Sam. This pool is taking a long time to fill. <laughs> she has to go in with the goats. She needs you to go sit like I did with Ellie. Sit on the ground with her and let her cuddle up to you and let the goats come up and and see her and she has to learn to be... She likes looking out at the goats though. Well, she'll like the goats. So cute. She just has to learn to be brave. She's a lot like Molly. She is exactly like Molly. Like Kirby. I know, I can't wait. So you're gonna like kisses. Yeah, Molly does not love kisses. Unless she wants something. Look at how how cute she is though. I never thought I'd find a dog like this cute. She has beady oh, eyes. Yeah. That's the only thing that I don't love about her are those beady little sleepy eyes. Like she's got sleepy eyes. Look at her little spotted legs. I love her spotted legs. I love everything about her. I love the breed. Yeah, I doubt they will. Molly's got way more hair than her. Well, look at your dog. Her ears fell. I uh, know, because I need to trim them. Only one ear fell. <laughs> well, they're both, like, falling. Yeah, I need, they, she needs a trim. Molly, Ruby needs a trim, too. That's my goal. I'll probably do it in the next day or two. She's getting bigger. Yeah, I know. A lot bigger. But this wind, this, but this thing here is so perfect. I'm going to take our Christmas card picture here. We're going to all hold a puppy, hold our dogs, and stand here and get our picture oh, taken in that. Oh, Ellie? Okay, she can jump those. She's fine. Hey, Pooh, come and see your pool. Look how long she got, you guys. Like, she's like two, three, wait. One, two, three, four hands long. She's four hands long. There we go. Just let her pet her and, and give Wait, her... but she's jealous. Yeah, we have so many jealous animals. And do you know what is really weird? All the jealous animals belong to who? Me. <laughs> All of them. It's like if you over love an animal... How? Just how? She can get anywhere. She's small. She can fit through every fence. If you over love an animal, it leaves them open to jealousy. Well, then I have 
I overlove everything. But Posey just wants to be friends. The other animals, like the other goats, just want to eat her. Posey, Posey just wants. Just eat her. <laughs> Posey just wants to be a friend. Oh, almost full. Good girl. See, she got brave. Sophie sat down with her, and then she ran off on her own. Even Ellie's a little nervous of the goats. Yeah, you're a nice goat. You're a nice goat. <laughs> Come on. These are the three amigos. They're best friends. I know, she wants to go in that pool so badly. It's okay. I got you. I got you. Don't worry, they won't hurt you. Look, they don't even have horns. It's okay. It's okay. Look at how tiny she is, though. She has such a tiny little body. I love this little area. Even though it's messy, but it has to be like this so that the goats can eat. We need more goats to eat all this property, though. What a good girl. What a good girl. Yes. You're a good girl, too. I know. You're the best girl. <laughs> Nobody in my family likes this dog but me. <laughs> Sam does like her, too. Like, she's, she's bonded to me and to Sam. She, when I go to bed at night, she hangs with Sam. <laughs> Don't worry. Everybody's all worried about the puppy. She's good puppy. Guys, comment your favorite breed. Did I ask you to do that already? Comment your favorite breed. There's so many breeds. There's some breeds I know that I would never like, and then there's some breeds I have no idea about. And then there are some breeds I love. And the breeds that I love are typically breeds that most people don't love. Like, I love Yorkies, and I love Toy Poodles, and I love Chihuahuas. Typically the worst breeds I love. I don't think you took my pig. I think my pig just loves anybody. Such a good girl. All right, I think we're ready. I think, I actually think that maybe if the wa the water's in there better, like if I fill it all the way up, maybe she won't be able to knock the walls down as much. Ellie, it don't. is attacking a goat. <laughs> See that? Don't follow Ellie. <laughs> Ellie attacks goats. Ellie just called this goat on because this goat was looking at me. That is not the goat that you should call on, Ellie. One thing I love about the water in this barn is it's like super clear. It doesn't have a lot of iron in it. And at our old farm, the water had a lot of iron in it. And with goats, actually, even with horses. So the thing with iron, too much iron in your water, is that it can block the absorption of other nutrients. And that happens with goats, it happens with horses. So with horses, it like, blocks I think B vitamins maybe I don't know it blocks something that can make if you have too much iron in your horse's water it can cause bad hoofs bad hooves can you believe that and with goats it blocks a lot of nutrients and goats have so many nutritional um, needs as it is that that's why goats are so hard because they have such strong nutritional needs because there's not a food that like really gives them everything that they need. So one thing I love about this farm is that the water here is so clear, doesn't have so much, it doesn't have a lot of minerals in it that are gonna cause problems in our herd or in our flock or in our herd of goats. Do you guys remember when I told you that I lost the cup for this? I have two of them and I lost both of them somehow. One I lost and one I think Sophie probably has in her room. Anyway, Sam was able to order them on Amazon for me. So now I can make the juice that I want to make. All right, so this is one of the things Sam got. It's like a kite almost, but it's like a eagle. <laughs> and you hang it and you put it, you hang it on a pole and it attaches and it flies around in the wind. So we're gonna put it in our chicken field. We have two of them actually. We're gonna put them in our chicken field. Doesn't that look scary? Sam always keeps old poles. Like anytime we take apart something, like we've taken apart trampolines before and he always has poles. Super amazing. Wow, that is a good pole. And so it lengthens and it can dig in the ground. Put it over in the chicken area. Yeah, so I need the string. Yeah, let me so go get the fly. string. Hi, yeah, turkeys. Away from the trees. Turkeys are all friends with the chickens now. One of these things just doesn't belong here. Can you tell which thing? <laughs> There's the other three ducks right there. Maybe this isn't going well. 
Okay, come on, Doc. I'm trying to save you. Don't fight him back. Doc is winning. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ellie, come on, stay out of it. The Doc. The Doc wants to fight. Oh my goodness. The Doc is winning. The rooster called the Doc on. They're both boys. And every time I try and separate them, because I'm afraid the rooster's gonna hurt the duck, then the duck takes it as a win. Oh my gosh. All right, it's over. Everybody's okay. Oh, that's my first fight I've ever seen. You're not supposed to keep ducks and chickens together, but it's not because the roosters and the ducks might fight. Oh, we keep the ducks separate at night. And out here, you're usually worried about the, usually it's because you worry about the girl chickens and the boy ducks. But the boy ducks haven't been bothering anybody until today outside. So outside in the farmyard, it's not as big of a deal because the girl chickens can just run away. But I've never seen the ducks ever try and breed with the chickens ever. That's the first time the boy rooster just came out of the blue and tried to hurt him. And then he fought back. Allie, come on. Come on. <laughs> Stay here. <laughs> Look at Tom. <laughs> He's so big. Isn't he so cute? You got a stick? <laughs> I'd much rather you play with sticks than with chickens. That's fine. Alright, back to the drawing board. He needs time to figure it out. You want to use a fishing rod? Yeah, I need, it's got to be taller than this, right? It's got to be like tall so the wind can catch it. So it's got to be longer than this. Because then the wind has to catch it. It's fly, right? So it looks like a hawk. <laughs> You're scaring the chickens. Well, it's supposed to scare other big birds, right? I don't know, though. Like, what if it teaches our chickens not to run when they see a shadow? Don't you know that you're beautiful?